How's it going out there? I'm back again with another video tutorial. Uh, today I want to show you how to change the language on your iPad and I also want to show you how to change um, the language of the keyboard as well. Um, what's cool is that if you speak multiple languages you can actually uh, switch the language so that um, it'll show in the other language and also you can switch the keyboard and when the keyboard switches it actually will switch your spell check as well so let me go ahead and jump in and start showing you some of the stuff you can do we want to find our settings icon go ahead and tap on it and we want to come down to where it says international okay click on that and then the first one we see is language right here so click on language and then we can select from I believe there's 25 different languages that the iPad can uh, translate into um, so I'm going to just work on Spanish today so we would want to go to Espanol and I'm not going to change it because it'll literally it'll change a lot of your setting stuff and if you don't speak the language very well uh, you will not be able to switch it back so I'm not going to change it to Spanish but I just wanted to show you this is where you would make that adjustment and then you would hit done then the iPad would actually reboot itself and it would uh, convert a lot of it into Spanish. Now, here's another thing that you want to know how to do as well. Um, you can actually enable multiple languages on the keyboard. So let's say if you want to switch to Spanish, you can switch it, or what you can do is you can have multiple keyboards that are enabled on your iPad. And I'm going to show you what that means right now. So what I just did was uh, we're still in the international uh, part where the language where you see keyboard click on um, that line and then we want to uh, tap on add new keyboard so I'm going to tap right there and I'm going to find Spanish and we have Spanish right here so I'm going to click on that and now I have two keyboards enabled okay so um, I'm going to close this out now and now I'm going to go to notes so we can kind of see with that keyboard how we switch between those keyboards so I'm going to tap on the screen my keyboard comes up now um, here you can actually see the Spanish keyboard is already enabled because you see the NEA um, letter right here and instead of it saying enter it says intro right here so the way you switch between the keyboards is you want to click on the little symbol this is the little global symbol and we tap on it it actually will switch you between the keyboard so I'm going from I'm on English right now click it again now I'm going to uh, the Spanish keyboard now you're probably saying is that the only thing that's different the little NA sign well there's a little bit more than that if you click on the numbers right here you'll see you have uh, the question mark is switched to an upside down also the exclamation point and again um, it's showing in Spanish right here this is really good um, you can use the iPad as a tool especially if you have kids and they're learning Spanish um, watch this when you type it actually will spell checker has switched so that now it'll recognize Spanish words for instance I'll type hola and you see how it's not underlined in red that means that the spelling is correct now if I type in hello watch this um, it's underlined in red now I know hello is spelled correctly but because the keyboard is set to Spanish spell checker is now set to Spanish so um, literally it will not let me just write English words anymore I can only write or type Spanish words and the English words that I type it will show up as being spelled incorrectly and if I tap on this or how do you do it Thank you. Yeah, tap on it. It gives you suggestions of what word they think you're trying to spell. And these are all Spanish words. Okay. So even if I type, let's see, gracias. Gracias. Look at that. Same thing. It lets me type it. It's not underlined in red because the spelling is right. But if I try to type thank you, they both show up as being spelled incorrectly. So this is a really cool feature. Now watch if I switch the keyboard back to English um, it's still kind of adjusted to the way it was before so I'd have to now erase these and see now if I go back to it now it thinks that gracias is spelled wrong because spell checker has now switched back to English so this is a really cool feature that the iPad has I really just learned it myself a little while ago 
but uh, you could have those multiple keyboards enabled so that uh, you can switch between languages, especially if you do uh, speak more than one language. Um, I'm going to go back to settings real quick. I want to show you, let's say if you want to get rid of that extra keyboard, maybe you don't want to have that enabled. We want to basically go back to settings. And when I just did one of the gestures that gets you back there, if you don't know what I just did, um, basically you would click the home button and it would take you back to here. And then we go to settings. We we'll again go to general, international, and then go to keyboards. And so we have our English and our Spanish keyboard enabled. We can hit edit and hit the minus next to it and delete. And now we just have our English keyboard enabled. So this has uh, been a tutorial video, how to change the language and how to change the keyboard. Hope that was helpful. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, H2 Tech Videos, and uh, subscribe to my channel. And send me a message if there's any special videos you want me to make, and I'll make sure I look into it and make one for you. Alright, have a good one.